For Suth the Lord called Moses and spake to him from the tabernacle of witnessing, saying, Speak thou to the sons of Israel, and thou shalt say to them, A man of you that offereth to the Lord a sacrifice of beast, that is, of oxen and of sheep, and offereth slain sacrifices, if his offering is burnt sacrifice, and of the drove of oxen, he shall offer a male beast without whim, without whim at the door of the tabernacle of witnessing, to make the Lord pleased to him. And he shall set his hands on the head of the sacrifice, and it shall be acceptable, and profiting into the cleansing of him. And he shall offer a calf before the Lord, and the sons of Aaron, priest, shall offer the blood thereof, and they shall shed it by compass of the altar, that is, before the door of the tabernacle. And when the skin of the sacrifice is drawn away, they shall cut the mem members into gobbets, and they shall put under the altar of the fire, and they shall make a heap of wood ready before, and they shall ordain above that wood those, th and they shall ordain above that wood those things that be cut, that is, the head, and all things that clean cleave to the maw, when the entrails and the feet to be washed with water, and the priest shall burn those on the altar into burnt sacrifice and a sweet odor to the Lord. That if the offering is of little beast, a burnt sacrifice of sheep, either of goats, he shall offer a male beast without whim, and he shall offer at the side of the altar that beholdeth to the north before the Lord. Suthly, the sons of Aaron shall pour the blood thereof on the altar by compass, and they shall part the members, the head, and all things that cleave to the maw, and they shall put them on the wood under which the fire shall be set. Suthly, they shall wash in water the entrails and feet, and the priest shall burn all things offered on the altar into burnt sacrifice and sweetest odor to, to the Lord. For so if the offering of burnt sacrifice to the Lord is of birds or of turtles or of culver birds, the priest shall offer it at the altar. And when the head is writhed to the neck and the place of the wound is broken, he shall make the blood run down on the brink of the altar. Soothly, he shall cast forth the little bladder of the throat or the crop and the feathers beside the altar at the east coast in the place in which the ash in the place in which ashes be wont to be cast out and the priest shall break the wings thereof and he shall not carve it neither part it with iron and he shall burn it on the altar when fire is put under the wood it is a burnt sacrifice and an offering of sweetest odor to the lord